hey, I am just received this drawing from a client and I wanted to assign the correct colors to some of these objects, but most of them are overridden. So let's see if somehow we can create a command or a custom tool or macro that can quickly help us fix all of these overridden properties on this drawing as well as maybe on future drawings. So to start, I'm gonna use a command in AutoCAD that is called set by layer, right? So if we use that command set by layer. Um, so again, I'm gonna try to run all of these steps only from the command line, right? So that way we can translate it to a one click command. So let's see what happened when I do set by layer. So again, AutoCAD is um, somehow asking me to select my objects. So I don't want to select anything here with my mouse because again, the goal is to run all of these steps only from the command line and our keyboard. So I'm not gonna select anything here, but I'm gonna say all, right? Once I do all and press enter, uh, you can see that I'm selecting all of these objects uh, on model space. Now, again, the command line is saying select objects, right? Again, I don't want to select anything, so I'm going to press enter. Once I do that, um, we have a, a new suggestion or question says change by block to by layer. In this case, when we receive uh, drawings from clients or from other AutoCAD users, most of the time I want to say yes to this. So I'm going to say yes and press enter. A new prompt shows up, it says include blocks. Um, so of course we want to fix this also inside blocks. So I would say yes, 99% of the time. So I'm gonna say yes and press enter. And boom, you can see that all of my objects colors are now showing as they're supposed to be. And that way I can quickly assign the correct colors based on my standards, right? Now, there is still uh, one thing that we need to set before this command, and that is a system variable, right? Because um, how can we control the properties of our set by layer command is by using a system variable. So there is one system variable called set by layer mode, right? So let's activate that. Again, I'm running all of these steps from the command line now, but we're gonna translate all of these steps to a one click command. So set by layer mode, uh, let's um, ask for help over here by pressing the F1. All right, so once we press the F1, uh, AutoCAD is gonna help us giving us all of these um, uh, concepts, which is set by layer mode control, which properties are selected by the set by layer command. So um, depending on what properties we wanna change, let's say color properties, line time properties, and so on. So. From my experience, when we receive drawings from other people, we want to make sure all of these properties are fixed, right? So that value for that would be 255. That would be adding all of these numbers together, right? And that will give us the 255 value. So, okay, so knowing that, I'm gonna close this and go back and make sure that 255 is selected and I'm gonna press enter. Right. So as you can see, we could run all of these steps from the command line without clicking anything on our screen. And that means we can translate all of these steps to a custom macro command. So let's do that really quick. And uh, for that, let's open the commands um, Macro palette, macros. Uh, that's a new feature in 
in AutoCAD. However, if um, I think there will be a problem because uh, probably some folks don't have this new feature yet, right? So what I'm gonna do instead then is I'm gonna close the command macros palette and I'm gonna use my tool palette opening the control three on my keyboard. So everybody has the tool palette, right? So that's why we're gonna use this tool palette. So the first thing I wanna do is simply drag anything to my tool palette. For instance, I'm gonna drag this uh, polyline over here to my tool palette by left clicking on it and simply dragging it to my tool palette. At this point, um, what I can do is open or right click and pick properties. So once I'm here, uh, what I can do is um, first change the name of my new command. In this case, I'm gonna call it lazy all by layer like so. And then uh, we can add a description, of course, over here. But the important part is that we need to somehow change the command string or macro over here. But for some reason, we cannot simply click on it. That's not a problem. We have to change the use flyout from just to no, and that way we can uh, change our command string or macro, right? So I'm gonna erase this part um, and simply keep the CC because that's a way to cancel or stop any uh, running command before we uh, uh, run our macro, right? And over here, the first, uh, again, we are translating all of our uh, commands that we use on the command line to into this small piece of code, right? There's nothing new, uh, we're just, translating it from the command line to this um, command string. So again, CC to cancel any running command. And then I'm gonna first uh, set the set by layer mode, all right? That's the system variable we used. And remember we uh, press an enter to activate. So an enter would be equal to a semicolon and then we set the value of 255 and then we again set enter so that's another semicolon and then we uh, used the set by layer command in this case i'm gonna use this uh, dash over here before the set by layer and that's simply a way to uh, Make sure we let AutoCAD know that we are running this command um, from the command line, right? So it doesn't show any dialog box or pop outs. Um, so set by layer, that's what we use. And we also set enter. Um, before we continue with 10 people on the chat, that's awesome. Uh, uh, we have a couple of comments I like to read and is uh, Felicia Hernandez. Felicia Hernandez says, good morning, Lazy Arquitecto, bendiciones. Uh, good morning, Felicia. Uh, thank you for being here today with us. And then we also have Xiomara Gaucho, which is giving us the muscles. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here, Xiomara, uh, with us. And then finally, we have a comment from Duke Michael. Yeah, my friend Duke, good morning, Irvin. I couldn't find you this morning. Oh, that's strange, uh, Duke. Uh, maybe you need to have your bell notification on so that way you get notified immediately whenever I do a live show, right? So we have also Mary Miriam on the chat um, says, hi, Irvin. Hi, Mary, thank you for being here today with us. Uh, we are trying to, this is, I think, the first live stream for 2023. So that's awesome. Um, hope everybody had a good holidays and let's keep moving, right? So at this point, um, 
uh, we're using the set by layer command that we use on the command line, right? And from what I remember, we needed to select our objects and we set all, right? And accept that with a enter. In this case, a semicolon is equal to an enter on our keyboard. So uh, after this, uh, we needed to accept the selection also, uh, pressing another enter another semicolon and then um Oroka, i remember ask us to if we want to select uh by block to by layer and we say yes right so we pressed another enter and then um Oroka also ask us to fix the uh, colors or properties on a, a blocks right blocks so and we also say yes and then finally we pressed enter to accept all of those steps. So at this point, uh, let's quickly test our command. Uh, sometimes happen that we might missed one enter or something like that. So let's, it's important to test this command. So I'm gonna click okay to accept that. The lazy all by layer. And in order to test it, I'm gonna undo uh, control c using the control c over here on my keyboard as you can see <laughs> this drawing that i received is looking very funny with all of these different colors and so on so it's uh, it's very it's a mess right and uh, we even have a block over here that uh, it's overridden with a different color blue outline and so on so, all right, so the time of the true comes here where we're gonna test our command. Let's see. So I'm gonna simply click on it. And boom, all of my property or objects properties were fixed immediately. Now uh, with the correct color and by layer, even this block over here and the nodes and so on beautiful right so let me know what do you think um, about this new uh, custom tool or macro uh, i want to read 